And what car automobile were you able to drive today? I was, in fact, in the Speciale today. It was, I am proud to say, the very first media drive in U.S. shores. I'm the first person to drive, as a journalist, the car on a track or any bit of asphalt in the U.S. They so gave you it's a good the, day. There are no keys to this. So this is just a push button affair. No, no, there is a key. You yeah, turn the key, and then key? the red button, which ah. is, you know, you know, if somebody's driven a Ferrari before, if they turn the key and expect it to start, because you have to turn the key and then hit the red button and then hear that beautiful, vibrant sound that comes only from a Ferrari. That seems almost worth $288,000. Doesn't it, though? Yeah. What else in the car makes you feel that it might be worth that or even a bit more? Tell us how this, it felt. This is special. Now, I've been looking for it. When I drove the 458, I thought, how could you get a faster, better performing car? Every time that uh, Ferrari does one of its iterations of their mid-engine, really hardcore sports cars, which are different from their... Mid-engine, rear-wheel yeah. drive. you got to make These that are, clear because indeed. they do have a four-wheel drive. Indeed. And they have a four-wheel drive and they have you know their front engine are more sort of generally cars that you might take a long trip these are cars you take on the racetrack and go pummel around now the speciale is a version that is stripped down it's much more hardcore and you're supposed to do exactly what I did today which was I took it from the city I drove an hour and 40 minutes to Monticello uh, racetrack which is a private racetrack in the Catskills drove it hard for about three hours had a little lunch had a coffee got back in the car just in time to arrive here it's a car you can track during the you know you can track during the day and get back home in, which is which is kind of its its purpose. What color was the car, Jason? Let's start with the most basics. <laughs> now, indeed, it, it was Ferrari red. Ferrari you know, red. Ferrari okay, red. the interiors got the suede, right? The the, the Alcantara. Suede, it's got Alcantara suede. stitched, very nice. Right. But I was told that the reason they have that, and Marco, you can come in on this, is because it's much less weight yes. than leather or obviously suede. You don't want to get it dirty. You don't want that in your but that it really helps to reduce about half the weight of a traditional leather trim. Yeah, we are, when we talk about 458 Speciale or racing car, we are obsessed in reducing as much as we can the weight of the car. So every material that really gives me is a lateral No floor mats. Yes. We take no floor mats. mats. You don't get floor, mat, floor mats for Well, years. but it's this beautiful okay. sort of exposed. Is it, is it aluminum? Yes, aluminum. So yes. Your, your feet are on this ex beautiful exposed aluminum. You, it feels purposeful. And, and the door handles are this beautiful crafted carbon and fiber and it's actually the seats are very comfortable they don't recline but I was surprised they're well bolstered but they're really comfortable um, it, is, it is important that you feel like a glove I mean you need to feel integrated with the car so to, the, this, to feel part of the car the in seat fact, is a fundamental part of the driving experience well right? is it true for example that in many cases a Ferrari you know you're gonna come with a four-point harness because yes. you want to feel sure. really locked into the automobile and if you have something in the passenger seat next to you forget it you're not going to be able to reach yes. it though they won't sell it to you like that you have to do that yourself in the US the uh, OEMs right. are not allowed to sell uh, for four-point four point harness harnesses. automobiles unless you buy a challenge and just buy a challenge car, which is a race challenge. car yeah. so. let's talk a little bit about using the software algorithmic package because we were just talking about with Marco this SSC this side slip control did you feel it work because it's supposed to send these all these you know split second not even split second you know algorithmic messages uh, to the rear to the differential in order to compensate for understeer or oversteer hey, Ferrari is not the in fairness they're not the only company doing these similar things which is torque vectoring they're using the brake systems. Torque vectoring yeah it, essentially they're using all the systems to make you do what you actually want to do, what you're hoping you do. In old cars, you know, you would understeer. You're pushing out to the, towards the track, or you know, your car gets away from you. This car today, I drove on the track really quite hard. It's still fairly cold out. Um, on a, a perfect day, it would be 75 degrees. Today was, you know, 50. Um, so what car, does that mean? You don't get it up to 9,000 RPM? Oh, I had it definitely. I had it lit up pretty good. I think even on short straights, we had about up to 135 miles an hour. Better, though, is the way it maneuvers. I was going around curves. This is a track I spent a lot of time on in a lot of different cars, and I was able to do some line today, some, taking certain paths on this track that I would not be able to do with most cars, and that's because of these, this, this all technology. The four, all the 458 Speciale United States come with a telemetry package, so everything is going to tell us is going to be downloaded. A telemetry, right, a telemetry package yes. that allows you to, what, put in a USB or an iPad app that you can then record yes, you can while you're going you around the track. Download all the information about so you know what I got up to today, basically, I if I got into any Oh, antics. so we can review everything yeah. that he did today. You will do. If, uh, with this permission, <laughs> we will do. But basically, this is important because we want really the driver engage with the car, understand his performance, improving his performance, understanding the points where in the track he can improve. So it's a fundamental thing to understand how a Ferrari works and how you get 
uh, and having your Ferrari. So that's fundamental. Go ahead. Well, well, see, the other interesting thing was uh, driving on the freeway, driving yes. on normal roads, even around town here, it didn't beat me up. And usually when you get more of a focused, hardcore race car type uh, consumer car, they beat you up. They beat okay. you back. This car actually is still pretty comfortable. You, you know what else happens sometimes in a regular consumer automobile is they recall them. Have you heard about all of the recalls from Toyota and General Motors and so on? Yes. Everybody. Marco, I'm sure you've heard about sure. this and you don't yeah. wish this on anybody in the industry, but I mean, are they doing the right thing by the consumer? I mean, has anything ever happened to, let's say, a Ferrari? I mean, you must have the names of everybody that buys them so you get to connect with these individuals. Uh, listen, I'm not in the position to judge if the other are doing well or they're doing well what do their job. What I'm saying is that there is no a perfect product in any industry. So we need to get used in order to make sure that if there is an issue, you jump on the issue, you fix it, and proactively you communicate to your customer, to your network, and you fix the issue. But you need to be straightforward, and you need to have an incredible time of reaction to this. In today's society, everything got aware immediately, so it is important that really you understand the issues and you fix it right away, and you communicate properly. That's our philosophy. Safety is the most important topic for us. All the investment in Formula One are even in that direction. You see the impressive improvement in Formula One in the last 20 years in terms of safety. You see all this technological transfer in our cars and this is a priority for us. We're going to find out more about the competition in Formula One. I want to ask you about what Mercedes uh, has been doing in, in, in Formula One. But, uh, Jason, I just want to point to you this idea of automobiles that then take very sophisticated high-end technology such as what's in this and it trickles down after many years into the cars that everybody drives on a day-to-day -day basis. More and more quickly, as a matter of fact. You look at your average Kia or Hyundai today, they're using all this technology you would have found in an S-Class Mercedes four years ago. So the fact is, and a lot of it is quite safety-minded, um, blind spot protection, uh, self-driving, uh, in sort of keeping in Oh, lanes. I don't think you want to do self-driving with this well, uh, 458 special. You don't, no. but it is trickle-down.